Hello, everybody, and check out what we got for ourselves today. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, you guys are too. But we have the Energy Sword Master. So just how like the samurai get like a samurai sword master, the ninjas get ninja star masters. Here we got for the upcoming Energy Sword unit an Energy Sword Master, pretty Star Wars esque, and. Uh, the fact that this guy has a double-edged lightsaber, he's literally Darth Maul. And look at the damage he's capable of doing. Oh my god, I can't even like imagine how much this unit is going to cost. All I know is I cannot wait to get my hands on it, because I need Darth Maul in my life, and this will provide me that. So Tab, seriously, lately they've been going insane with this type of stuff and just all these new units like this, and it has me so excited. But uh, I did also want to ask you guys, what is, out of all of these like new upcoming announced units, what is your favorite right now? Because there are so many. We got the anti-projectile tower. We got the normal, uh, the normal lightsaber guys. We got the gravity bomb. Uh, I think the rapiers, rapiers just got announced yesterday as well. And there's a, a whole ton of awesome stuff that I'm so excited about. So let me know which one you guys are most excited for. Uh, personally, I'd, I'd probably say this guy just because it's Darth Maul. It's Star Wars. And we got Rogue One coming up soon, too. So uh, I love it. I love the timing. It's getting my Star Wars hype back up. I'm going to, like, marathon all the movies. I'm going to marathon 1, 2, 3 uh, right before Rogue One comes out. Then I'm just going to watch Rogue One. Then I'm going to watch the rest of it and just have the ultimate movie marathon. It's going to be great. But uh, shenanigans aside... Let's go ahead, get into the meat of the video, do some of what you guys wanted me to do in the form of awesome viewer suggestions, and have ourselves a goddamn good time. Hello everybody and welcome back It's a totally accurate battle simulator today. Hopefully you enjoyed that beginning clip. That is insane to me that they're having like an energy sword master that's literally Darth Maul from Star Wars, so that's amazing, first off. I'm already having a great day just from that clip, but we're gonna have an even better day because we are continuing to take your guys' suggestions and we're gonna be starting off with one as well. So the first one from that one gamer, the Peasant Uprising. So what we have is 60 peasants, 10 clubs, 20 farmers, and five boxers on the left side. A whole pissed off crowd of people. And on the right, we got the government. We got 15 swords, so like kind of like footmen here, just kind of like the normal police guys. Then we got 20 shields and 20 spearmen. I separated them into two units here, so they kind of move forward. And then we got the chariot for the cop car. And we got some artillery. We chose a cannon crew because like during riots, they kind of have like the grenade launchers. They don't shoot actual grenades, but they shoot like those like, like balls of sand. You know what I'm talking about, the things that would really hurt. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's see how this uprising goes, and we're gonna balance it until it's a little bit even, and then, uh, yeah, so thank you, that one gamer. Let's see this clash. Oh, man. I don't know how this clash is gonna go. We got the cop car coming in from far away. Oh, that thing's gonna be running people over. It's, it's friendly firing, too. Look at that mob. Oh, my God. Well, it looks like the cops are gonna win pretty... Actually, maybe not. Oh, that dude just chucked his spear. I don't know, that's... That was a close one. Also, we're switching up the scenery. We're going to Japan. I don't really switch up the scenery too much, so I decided I should start doing that. And it uh, looks like that wasn't enough, so we're gonna be adding in... I say we add in, like, ten more boxers. How about that? So, one, two, three... We want them everywhere. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. We're going to see if 10 more boxers can do it, and we're going to see what it takes for this peasant uprising to be able to do it. That cannon crew in the side, though, that's going to be wrecking some havoc. I actually want to see... Uh, oh, yeah, that's that's doing some heavy hits. Oh, mama, but this... Look at the front line. Look at it just go. Let's get some slow motion in. Oh, look at them get taken out. They're just beating on the poor police officers. Oh, look at that guy. He's dead as hell. He's just like, help me. It's like, this is my grave. No. Oh, yeah, the Reds are doing a lot better. Oh, no, they're about to get run over super hard. Oh, my God. He punched the head off the reindeer. You savage. My God. Oh, my God. Yeah, the the riot. Those boxers were the missing link. Like, we still got a couple spearmen, though. I think that guy's alive, right? Yeah, he's pretty... He's, he's alive and kicking. Using the chariot. The wrecked, the flipped over police car's cover. And uh, he's going to get taken down. Oh man, look at that. His head's been impaled. That's awful. But now we just got the cannon crew. It's up to them. To take out the rest. 
They might be able to do it here, although that rock is providing some cover. This is- this is all- Oh my god, big hit. Uh, boxer. You're in for some bad- Whew! Cops barely, barely won that one. But we're getting a lot closer to the point where it's pretty much just the cannon crew that's deciding it. So what we're gonna get instead is we're just gonna add a line of peasants here. Just to get some meat shields to hopefully take on some, uh, some of those cannonball balls. And that line of peasants should do us some more justice. Oh, look at the policemen. They're just charging through. I love that formation so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Dying. Ah. Oh man, dude, this cough has got to go away eventually, right? But look at them. Oh my god. The poor souls. They got some more numbers this time. Oh my god, they're carrying the cop car. Oh, they flipped the cop car. Those savages. Oh, they just got some... Big hits, though. Look at that. He's trying to use the shield to his own use. Smart man. Okay, well. By the looks of it, we should probably... Let's try moving that up a little bit. Let's see if a closer cannon crew makes a difference. Maybe some of the peasants will go after it? No, they're not. Oh, man. Already big hits, though. But look at that. I just... Let's see. Let's see the reindeer come in. Oh! That's manslaughter right there. Jesus. He can't even hold on to his seat. He's like, Mamma mia! My butt is not on my seat. I must go. Oh, man. I don't know how he's still alive. How's the cop car st It just ran over half of the peasants. My God. Look at that power slide. Oh, my God. I think the peasants are doing a lot better this time. Especially while that cop car survives. Oh, no. It's gone. Oh, look at him barrel out of there. Oh. Oh, that tree is their last saving grace. We still got a couple cops, though. Staying strong. We got a lot of peasants. But the, uh, the cannons. Oh my god, look at the air he got! Ooh, boop. It's okay, he landed soft in a pile of bodies. How'd that guy get over there? How'd he survive? I don't know. That one missed. I maybe should not have missed, but... I think maybe the cannon crew... Cannon crew's gotta go. Okay. Okay, let's get one last battle. This time, no cannon crew. Let's see how it goes. I just want to see, because I think the cannon crew, without that, the reds win. Oh my god! How? How does that cop get so high? Look at him, he's sleeping in the air. He's got his hands in like a sleeping position. Oh, dive bomb! Oh, he just hit him with the highest people's elbow I've ever seen. Oh, look at that, everything's flying. This is insanity. Look at the ray. The cop car is still running people over. Oh no, goodbye cop car. Oh no, they're carrying the cop car again. These rioters are insane. Without that cannon crew. It's not even fair. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's hop into the next user suggestion. And here what we have is Donald Duck, where they're gonna be going out. We got some hunters going out to literally hunt Donald Duck. So what this is, is we have one Donald Trump, since his name is Donald, and then 10 Chicken Man Mans. And up against them, we got the hunters, which is five rifles. We might increase that though, just because, I don't know, chicken men are quite powerful four thieves and two archers so my money is so much on the left side but we're gonna see how it goes because these guys they got they got bullets at the very least so they might be able to do some damage lickety split they just got a fire already they're not firing oh look at that donald taking bullets what we might do for this we might just get rid of the chicken man maybe like one chicken man that's not even fair all right unfortunately let's get like one let's let's just see if they can hunt donald trump his name's Donald. They're on the hunt for Donald Duck. Although I don't think Donald Duck ever gets hunted. That's the other, uh, that's Bugs Bunny that gets hunted. Yeah, look at that. We got the thieves coming in to try and get them, but they're just, oh, mowed down easy. Oh. Oh my god, Donald taking arrows. Oh. He's also taking bullets. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, did he lose an M16? Oh no, they're disarming him. Oh, have they disarmed Donald? No, he's holding on to that for dear life. Oh no. Oh, they're missing. They're missing. They're missing a lot. I don't know how he's still alive. He's got an arrow. He had an arrow in the brain. Then it left his brain. Oh, man. Oh. Well, friendly fire much. Holy cow. Oh, bullets. Oh, right in the dick. Oh, that got- that just- that just angered Donald. He's just moving forward now. Oh. When he starts moving forward, it's game over. That's when he starts taking people out. If he can just stay close enough. Oh, never mind. This is going to be a good battle, though, because Donald is... He's, he's got a good amount of health. And he's already taken out a hunter? 
I like this a lot more. This is hunting Donald Duck right here. Look at that. Another hunter down. Down to three. Then there were three. You guys better take some... Shoot those... There we go. They just gotta keep pushing him back. Donald with his 1M16 is staying... Oh, I want him to build a wall. Where's the wall at, Donald? Oh, right in the shoulder blade. Come on. Oh, he's starting to shoot. You guys gotta take him out. Nice. Nice. Barely missing. Oh, he's still firing, though. They, they don't have much time to live until that M16's pointed at them. Guys. Oh. They barely got him out of range again. Donald, get your ass up. Come on. No naps on the battlefield. You got hunters to take out. See, I don't think Donald Duck... Oh! They took him out. That was actually... There were three survivors on the blue team, right? But that was surprisingly... Surprisingly even. If Donald just, like, a little bit of luck turned different, Donald could have mowed down some of them. I like that. That's a cool battle. So thank you a whole ton, David Isaac. I seriously appreciate it. And now, let's move on to probably the most excited for thing. I mean, I'm always excited for all viewer suggestions. But uh, let's move on for this next one. I think it's going to be pretty good. All right. And here we have it. Game of Thrones Battle of the Bastards. Probably one of the most epic battles in the entire Game of Thrones series. On one side, we have Ramsey Bolton. 50 shields with spears behind them in a semicircle formation, as you can see there. 20 archers in the back and one lead archer to be Ramsey. I decided to go ahead and turn him into a musket just so we could tell who he is, though, and that'll make him better than an archer, so he's like the lead archer. And uh, on the left side, we have Jon Snow. I rounded all these numbers up, so 10 headbutters, 15 vikings, 15 barbarians, one axe guy to be the giant, and one swordsman to be Jon Snow. I decided to make him a samurai master, so he's really like a leader type of unit. Are you guys ready for a hell of a clash? The, the right side's definitely gonna win, so I'm thinking we might need to change up the numbers a little bit because this just is not gonna be fair, but these headbutters, they don't care. They don't care about fair. They care about death and murder. Look at them about bringing the clubs down on the people. They've broken through the front lines. I don't, I don't know how well, but they're, they still got a lot of units to go. I don't know how this is gonna go. So far, I wish they had like a casualty counter so you could see how many people are left alive on each side. Oh, the Samurai Master's coming in though. Yo. Yo, Jon Snow. I need you to put in some goddamn work. Where'd you go off to? I already lost that. I look away for one second, I lose track of Jon Snow. God damn it. Look at that epic beard he's got. John. Johnny boy. Stay strong. We still got a lot of range units to take out. I, I don't know. Oh, half of them died from friendly fire, probably. They're not smart like that. Look at him. He's just he's it's all him at this point. He's trying to fend for his life. Oh no. Is he dead? No. Is he oh I think he's still alive. He lost his sword though. Oh mamma mia, he's dead as hell. What's he to do? He just jumps now. He can't do much. <laughs> Damn it, Baxter, the suggestion. Might need a little bit of improvisation. What I'm thinking we do, let's add. Some headbutters. We're gonna add five of each unit. Okay, so we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna add five barbarians just to make it up so it's gonna be like 20 of the ones that said 12. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna add five headbutters too. Those are under Vikings, I think. One, two, three, four, and five. And then. Maybe let's get one more giant in here. Let's get a double giant action And let's see how this goes and then I'm also gonna improvise on the archer formation Actually scooch these guys around a little bit. So they're a little bit less likely to kill each other So one two three four five six seven and then one two three Yeah, that's perfect. So we got 20 there then we got the lead archer look at that Oh, it kind of looks like a bow too and then uh, what is it? Ramsey's the arrow. That's actually kind of cool. All right. <laughs> Let's see how the bow formation. I'm so sorry. Does against these fellas. Oh, the slow motion's coming and the archers betraying their own people. My god, they were never smart, but I didn't think they were that stupid. Look at this clash in the front lines. Oh my, oh my. They are charging through like no one's business. The axemen are still coming in strong. But the rest of that semicircle formation is doing some work. Look at that barbarian just hitting people in the face. My god. I don't know how that guy got so far back. Look at this. We got people everywhere. That guy's got like... What's he got there? 
He took a spear. He's got a very long dick, I think. That or a, I, the spear replaced his dick. We got like a little mosh pit going on here. Shields trying to protect and serve. Did the giants die already? No, we got one giant over here staying strong. Never mind. He's strong as dead. And then we still got the samurai master. No, samurai! Damn. It's always close, but never close enough. Okay. What I say we do then, let's get some more vikings. And I mean a lot more over here on the sides. To kind of clash with those sides. This, I think, will be the final iteration of this battle. Yeah, there we go. So those will distract. Hopefully do some work on the uh, left and right flanks. And everything else happens. But this is an epic battle. Of epic. Look at that guy. He's being like, they're holding him up like they do at concerts. He's crowd surfing. <laughs> Interesting tactic. Make people crowd surf. Look at the arrows just raining death. Oh, so beautiful. In a death, deathly type of way. Look at that. Oh my god, they're getting chopped up. He lost his axe. Where's the samurai? Where is Jon Snow? Johnny boy. Oh, the axemen. The giants are staying strong. Hell yeah. We lost track of John though. Is he still alive? Did John die? Oh no. Jon Snow. I don't know. The reds are doing work though. They're taking out the blues. The giant is just. Oh my god. He's going crazy. Oh. Jon Snow's still alive. He's going up against the shieldsman. Hell yeah. The shieldsman. Down he goes. And now. Oh no. Jon Snow's down. All we got is a couple units left. This guy is taking so many arrows! Oh my god. What a savage. Oh! Shot in the back! By Ramsey! No! No, you guys gotta focus on... On the upcoming people. Those shields are so great at blocking this. Oh, look at that. The barbarian with the club. He's doing work to these poor archers. Oh! They go down. Now it's the two giants left. Oh man, this is actually... No, we still got a couple Vikings, too. This is not looking good for the boys in blue. Although, if they get shot a couple times... I don't know, they got three left. Dude, you gotta take the shot. Oh! Right in the legs. He's, he stays strong, though. He lives. Archers, you guys gotta focus on the Viking coming for you. Oh, no. They couldn't. That is coming for Ramsey. No, Ramsey, what are you aiming at? Ramsey's trying to do, like, a 180 no-scope here. You gotta shoot him, man. Shoot him! You got him in the bum! Oh, down he goes! Oh. Oh, he got one in the bum, though. Is he down? He's down. The giant's down. We're left with one viking. Two vikings! And one archer who doesn't know what to sh- That rock is not attacking you, archer! Oh my god. Ah, oh, That's awful. That was a battle of epic proportions. That's a battle that I am more than exhilarated to end this video off on. Thank you guys a whole ton for all the suggestions. I seriously appreciate it because you guys are a huge part of what make this video and videos like these possible is your guys' creativity. Uh, I usually pick like three comments, I think, is usually what I do for viewer suggested stuff. Uh, so as a heads up, there were some awesome other suggestions too. So just continue posting whatever suggestions you want in the comment section down below. So all you gotta do, just post the comment, and I will look through and pick ones that seem pretty damn cool. And uh, after that, just make sure you hit that like button too. You don't have to, but it's cool if you do, and that you guys are subscribed. Also, uh, turn notifications on, because I know YouTube has been awful lately, and like unsubscribing people and not sending videos to their feed. So make sure you turn on notifications for me if you actually care to see my videos. You might not. You might not actually care. Maybe just stop by every once in a while. Uh, if so, that's cool. That's cool. I'm just saying as a heads up. If you actually do want to definitely know, make sure you got notifications on. And uh, I cannot see... <coughs> Reverse that. I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say and which, what kind of battles you guys have for me next episode. Awesome suggestions today. Again, thank you, Baxter. Wait, hold up. I gotta, I gotta go through. Thank everybody. Baxter, David Isaac, and that one gamer for the awesome suggestions. And, uh, can't wait to see what the rest of you guys dream up. Dream big, boys and girls. Dream big. So, again, thank you guys. Have yourselves the most fan-freaking-tastic day. 
in a goddamn world, and I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.